Hey, what's up everybody? Adobe Masters here. And today I'm gonna be showing you how to create an animated GIF in Adobe Premiere Pro. Now, this isn't gonna make you know like an amazing filmmaker or anything like that, but it's fun and it's just something creative. And a lot of people wanna learn how to do this. Quick disclaimer is this method does not work on Macs. Mac in 2000, not Mac, but Adobe. In 2016, it removed the animated GIF feature from Macs because Macs don't natively support it and they keep changing things around. So Adobe was tired of keeping up with it. So yeah, it's only gonna work on Windows. So yeah, if you don't um, if you don't have a Windows, then you might wanna go look for another tutorial of how to do it on a Mac because I think you have to use Photoshop. So anyway, let's get started. Let me jump into Premiere Pro. I'm gonna click my footage right here and I'm gonna drag it onto Drop Media to create a sequence. I'm gonna unlink the audio and then what I'm actually gonna do is go edit these sequence settings. So I'm gonna go up to sequence, go to sequence settings and we're gonna change everything around here. We're gonna go custom, we're gonna go time base of maybe like 15 or Let's go 12.5. The lower the better. Less frames there are, the less that your footage has to work with. Eh, 15 works. The less, um, the le the smaller the file size, and the file size is really really important with stuff like this, uh, because when you're uploading it and trying to share it, if it's too large, it'll take a long time to load. No one will ever see it. So let's go to frame size next, and let's change that. Let's lower that down as well. Same thing. We want to reduce this down to a smaller frame size or a smaller file size. So we've created our thing, our uh, settings right here. Let's go into display format. It might be on 30 frames per second. We wanna change that to frames. Make it a square pixels and a progressive scan and you should be good to go. So let's click okay. It's gonna say you're destroying your footage. We're gonna say okay. Then we're going to click on here and what we wanna do now is position this so that it looks good uh, right here. And then now we wanna kinda of find the loop in here. So um, maybe we wanna loop starting right here. Just gonna cut it there. Where do we want it to end? So just go to it, we'll delete the front out of this, drag it over here, and remember the, the smaller, the shorter the footage, the better in this situation, um, just because, again, we're, we're trying to watch file size. So that, yeah, let's, let's, let's try to find the loop like right into here. Let's go one, two, three, four, five. Maybe that, yeah, let's just go five. Let's make it a really small GIF. Um, so we're going to go in here, we're going to delete it, and then now you'll see it plays, but it stops. We want it to keep playing so we can see it. So we're gonna go ahead and hit this loop button right here. And now you can see the, the GIF working right here, going over and over and over again. If you do not have this loop button, go ahead and click on this plus button and you'll see all these amazing little buttons that you can add into your panel. Um, so let, let me just drag this out so it's not here. So just go and find the loop button. It should be right about here. Click it, drag it on and drop it, click okay. And now you have the loop button. Make sure it's blue so it's activated and now you can see what your GIF will look like. Once you have something that you like, we can just go to the easy part, which is we're gonna go to uh, sequence, my bad, file, export, media and then what we're going to go to is format animated gif preset animated gif match source we want to maybe you're on like h.264 or something like that make sure it just goes to animated gif like i said if you're not on a mac or if you are on a mac you will not see this here because they removed that functionality right here we can change the name um we're just going to make it bus loop 2 click save on there and all we have to do is click the export button it should be really quick and let's get out of here and let's go find bus loop two. It's up here, double click it. And you see we have our GIF working perfectly right here. And you know, you can do stuff like you could add text down here in Premiere Pro and it'll export the text just like um, this. It'll just have text right here. It's really, really simple. You can do a lot of cool things and sort of make your GIFs. So, you know, you can download a movie clip or something like that and create a GIF from it. And yeah, upload it, share it, have fun with it. Um, if you'll see that right now, this is 905 kilobytes, which is decent for this size. So like I said, this is with nine frames and at 500 by 500. So you don't wanna make it go really, really large. Otherwise you'll get to like 10 or 15 megabytes. And that just isn't something that's going to take, um, that's gonna be downloaded quickly and it'll always be loading. So no one will ever see it. That is it on the tutorial. Um, like I said, just something really fun, something that you might not know you can do in Premiere Pro and now you do. Thanks everyone for joining me. Uh, if you wanna see more tutorials, uh, video similar to this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I post a video every other day. Um, if you got any questions, comments, or suggestions for future tutorials, throw those in the comment section below. And until next time, guys, see ya.